Hi, I'm Kieran McNamara. I'm the General Manager of the CNC Division here at Headland Machinery. Makino is a very interesting company. It's one of the foundation members of the Japanese Machine Tool Association. It started out in the late 30s. They were very early into the Australian market, mainly to do with the die mould industry initially, but then following on to the aerospace industry. So Makino has a long history in the Australian market and has diversified into a lot of industries such as automotive, uh, general engineering, uh, medical, which are all still fairly strong industries in Australia. Uh, the relationship between Headland and Makino came about in the early 2000s and it's been a very strong history. What Headland has been able to provide Makino in the Australian and New Zealand market is a very strong service and applications support network. The nature of the Australian machine tool industry, it's it can be difficult to service because we have a very large geographical area and we have a fairly limited population. So the good thing for Makino in partnering Headland is we have a, a truly national service network. So we have service engineers in each of the main cities and we're able to support Makino's product. When we look at Makino, it is fundamentally a different machine tool company to most of the other competitors in the Australian market in that Makino specialise in machining centres. Makino still manufacture machines that are mechanically square and flat. They don't use any compensation in the manufacturing of the machines. Um, we're typically looking at a more rigid construction when we talk about Makino because Makino specialise in making milling machines and machining centres. They're very good at it. And the good thing is with Makino, we have a very diverse range. So we have special machines that are configured for special applications where when we look at our competitors they tend to have a more general purpose range of machine tools. So typically if we're looking at an application or a job that a customer wants to do we've normally got a very good technical solution for them. Makino is very good with the spindle of the machine. The spindle is the heart of the machine. The spindle technology from Makino is very sophisticated, we've got very good balance standards, very good accuracy standards, low vibration, we've got very good high speed capability and we also have very good heavy cutting, heavy torque capability spindles as well. When we look at the total life cycle cost with Makino and we talk to our existing customers, they indicate to us that Makino machines are probably the most efficient machines to run long term. So, Things like spindle life, reliability and the accuracy of the machines long term, we are very strong in these areas. So we have customers that are, been, that are running machines 24-7 um, for many years with no significant downtime or expense to, to upgrade the machine, which is unbelievable. And we have high speed spindles that are up to 20,000 RPM that have been running for over 10 years. Makino in the long term is a very inexpensive machine. So maybe the cost up front is a little bit higher than the competitors, but a lot of our customers now are smart enough to realise that the life cycle cost is, is more important. One area where Makino has been successful in the Australian New Zealand market recently is where we've been able to install machines with automation from Makino. We're running these systems 24 seven. This is a very important point considering the high labour costs in the Australian manufacturing industry at the moment. These automation systems are fully integrated with the machines and schedule all the work, all the cutting tools and all the programs for the machines. So where our customers are reporting to us that they're getting maximum uptime by keeping the work up to the machines by fully utilising the automation with the machines.